Hi guys, how are you doing? This is probably the most requested video that I have ever done for this channel. Last week I uploaded a couple videos playing this. This is the world's first single double pedal ever made. And this is something that I've been in love with for maybe a decade. The first time that I saw one of these I was 16 years old and I contacted the guys from Dualist Pedals like a couple of weeks ago and to my surprise they replied back and they offered me to send me samples of the products in order for me to try everything out and to make some videos and that's what I did and the videos were a fucking huge success. The first one had 10 million views in less than 24 hours and on most of the comments you guys were asking me to talk about how does this work. Well, the first thing that I gotta say is that I got no idea how this works. As you can see, it's a very, very complex machine. It has a lot of parts that you don't usually see on a double pedal, for example, whatever this is, but the result is that you got a fully functional single double pedal and I'm going to show you how this works. The first thing that I must say is that these beaters are mine. These are not the official Dualist beaters but I like these ones, they feel light and I have been using them on these pedals and they feel great. Now in order to play these pedals you gotta understand that there are a couple of elements that you will never find on a regular single pedal. This is the first one and this is the second one. With these two elements, you are going to control whether you are playing a normal single pedal or a double single pedal. In order to use it as a regular single pedal, you gotta press with your heel on this lever. And that's something that really needs a lot of strength to happen, okay? So you will not be kicking this by accident. There's no way you can do that. You really need to apply a lot of pressure in order for the beater to stay locked right there. And I mean it, a lot of strength. Once you do that, you will be able to play this as a regular single pedal, no problem. And I also gotta say that they work pretty well. Just in case you want to get back to that single double pedal action, you are going to press this right here with your heel. A little touch will be enough and then you're ready to go. Now that's the double pedal setup, that's the single pedal setup and now if you want to go back to the single setup, you really got to keep this in mind. Whenever you are going to kick this, the pedal is going to produce a stroke. And I'm saying this because this is not just any pedal, okay? There are instructions on how to play this and you will not feel comfortable using the same techniques that you used on the rest of the pedals. But that's because it's different, it's a different tool, so you really have to understand how it works in order to operate it. As I told you, you go back to double, it's going to produce a stroke, so you really need to think about the switches like another stroke in order to keep playing without losing the beat. One thing that's very interesting about this pedal and that you should really consider before getting one is that in order to produce two strokes with one hit, you are going to be operating both of the springs, the right one and the left one. And that's very, very important because you really need some strength, some endurance. You are not just playing with this spring like it usually happens with the rest of the pedals, right? Whenever you are playing both of them, you need to actually apply a lot of strength. You are going to be operating both of the springs, so that's something that you should really consider. However, the result is a lot of fucking power. You are not missing power whenever you are playing linear 16th notes, triplets or 32nd notes. I can guarantee you that this packs a lot of punch, not only on the first stroke, but also on the second one. 
So now that you understand the basics of the pedal and you know what everything does and how you need to operate it, you can start playing your regular beats. And if you want to switch from doubles to singles, you need to keep pushing the board down in order for this not to hit again. Then you have to hit with your heel that lever and you're ready to go. And you can use it as a single however you like. But remember, whenever you are turning it into a double again, you are going to produce one stroke. So you really must keep that in mind because it's going to sound very loud. Now, let's just start a slow and let's see what this pedal could do. Let's play, for example, 16th notes at 150. Let's go. And you gotta remember, lock the second beater, because if you don't, it's going to act like this. And that will be a huge mistake. And that's why I'm talking about you really need to know how to operate this pedal. It's not a regular pedal. It does not work like a regular pedal. And it's going to sound like shit if you try to make it work as a regular pedal. Now that we know how this works at 150, let's do a little speed test. I have not done it yet. I don't know how fast you can push this pedal to go. We can tighten the springs and everything. So let's move it forward, let's say 180. Let's see how this works. Pretty fucking complicated. In the beginning, I've had this for a week and now I'm used to it, so it's not that hard, but you really need to keep everything in mind in order for the pedal to sound good, okay? And that's important. You gotta make the pedal sound good. That's not magic. It doesn't happen like that. You really need to work on that, but it's pretty fucking interesting. Okay, now it's time to run the most important test in order to understand the pedal. Let's see how fast we can go. I haven't warmed up, but let's see what we can do with this pedal. I'm going to tighten the springs a little bit and I don't know I'm hoping 220 will do the trick maybe 240 as always depends on the player but let's give it a try 200 bpm 16 notes let's see what happens Okay, not bad. Let's try 220. I don't know if I can pull that, but let's try it. Let's go. I'm going to apply a higher tension in order to do this because I don't want any kind of injury. So we're going to let the springs do the work. And as always, from triplets to 16th notes and back. Let's see how it goes. The last stroke, it is very fucked up because you really need to apply a lot of tension in order to avoid the second beater from hitting the fucking drum head again. Okay, don't be afraid to do that. If you don't, that will happen. You must avoid that at all costs. Now, important things. I'm not going to play any faster because I cannot. It's really burning. That's a lot of tension. It packs a lot of tension. It feels like a workout, but as you can see, it's really useful in order to play linear bits, okay? Linear groups. I would buy this pedal in order to do and record creative stuff. You could open the hi-hat, you could play clavis or any kind of percussion with the left part of your body, and that makes this a really interesting choice. However, Something really important. To me, doubles don't work. In order to produce a powerful double stroke, you would need to really let the pedal board go very fast. Like that. If you keep your feet on the pedal, 
The second stroke is not as powerful as it should be, so if you are not triggering your bass drum, you are going to have some troubles, but they also do have a triple version with three beaters, and I got no idea on how to play that since you can only use this in order to produce clean, linear sounding strokes like 16th notes or triplets, so that's a huge mystery. If you want to see that video, please let me know in the comments, because I don't know if it's worth making that video. I'm not going to show it but I already have the triple version and the quadruple version so this was just a little video in order to explain how this works and also the last demonstration that I'm going to use let me show you how good this pedal is whenever you are playing this as a single pedal and just avoiding all of this I mean even if you didn't like the possibilities that this setup offers check how smooth this pedal is when it's played as a single let's go It works! It is smooth! It is actually pretty fucking great! Let's try doubles, it works, same tempo. It's good! It has power, it has a nice flow. So, guys! All in all, a lot of you have been asking me about this pedal because you may be thinking, do I need one? I don't know, to be honest. I don't know. It works in order to create very spectacular drum parts where you can do things that actually no one can play. And I'm talking about, let's say, opening the hi-hat while playing 16th note with your kick. A lot of stuff that we as drummers have never been able to do and right now we can. However, this pedal has a very specific way of functioning. You really need to spend a lot of time in order to control it. And it's not only about controlling it, you really need to dominate it in order to use it properly. You could try this pedal as a single, it works perfectly, it's a fair competitor to any other pedal out there, I can guarantee you that, I have played them all. Also something very interesting is that a lot of drummers out there have no idea on how to play double bass, so maybe this would be a great option. Since you are playing with your right foot, you are not going to do any flams with your hands and feet, it's going to sound pretty clean, you will need to work a little bit on your skin skills with this pedal, but I can guarantee you that you will be able to play a lot of double bass drumming stuff just by doing the same thing that you have been doing until now. So it, this could be a very good option for two kinds of drummers. The first kind, those who are already experienced and really want to create something new and think straight out of the box and do something that no one has ever seen before. That would require actually a lot of effort and a lot of practice. It's not easy, but as I have just shown you, it could happen. It's just a matter of investing time. But it also could be a very, very good pedal for those drummers that have no fucking idea on how to play double pedal, but actually do have the necessity or the need to do it for some reason. I don't know. Maybe they have just been hired by a band or something and they really need to pull this off very fast. This could be a great option. I'm going to leave you the link to all of their socials down there and also the link to the shop right there. And please, Remember, comment down there if you would like to see videos and more stuff with this pedal because I really love it. It helps me to push the boundaries and to create new things and enjoy drumming. As always, it's been a fucking pleasure. Thank you all guys for staying here with me today. I really do appreciate it. Practice, enjoy your practice and as always, see you all very soon on the next videos, guys. Bye.